my wife too. Y'all both cook perfectly. What's, What's up, up fam? fam? If you're new here, welcome to our channel. And if you're not new, you already know what it do, baby. You already know what it do, baby. Welcome to Cooking with the Catrins, where we take complex recipes and break it down into super easy, super simple steps that anybody can make. And today we got a fire one for you guys, and that is... Hey baby, we are making curry goat. Ooh, -wee. Jamaican style. Yes, get your goat out, go to the market, get you some goat. And it's gonna be super easy because we're making it in this baby right here. So if you have a pressure cooker, get that baby out as well. Let's get to cooking. Put in about a third cup of that, and then we're going to switch into our uh, Jamaica nice curry powder. Put in about a third cup of that as well. Last but certainly not least is our spice addict uh, jerk seasoning, and we're going to add about a third cup of that as well. Get this massaged in. Just be careful that curry don't play. Make sure you got gloves or you're using a spoon. Simple step though, fam. Super easy, super simple. You already know what to do, baby. All right, fam. So after you get this mixed in, we're gonna let this marinate for at least an hour. Give it two to three or overnight if you can, but at least an hour. So we're gonna start out by uh, doing what we call burning the curry. Uh, and that takes the saute function on the Instant Pot. And we're not actually going to burn the curry. We do not want to burn the curry. Uh, basically take a bit of oil and uh, your curry, and you're basically gonna use uh, that hot oil to activate the curry. So just basically sauteing that curry, guys, bringing out all of those flavors. And so, baby, after this, we're gonna go straight in with, uh, with our garlic and with our ginger. So ginger coming in next, we had the fresh ginger, uh, and this was about a finger's length. Um, I just cut that down. Y'all know how I feel about my garlic, fam. Y'all can't skip that step either. Everything sauteing, everything getting cooked down. Man, and the aromas, boy, the aromas. The aromas from this alone. I don't know which one's stronger, the garlic or the, uh, the ginger. <laughs> hey, or the curry, and, but, whew. And Miss uh, and Stacy loves some ginger. She'll eat ginger by itself during there. She puts it in her tea, puts it in her everything. So I know this right up her alley. So we're just cooking it. And again, it's called burning the curry, but we are not here to burn this curry, fam. So it's time. It's been about 30, 45 seconds or so. Um, and we are coming in with our goat meat. And that baby has been marinating to the bone. We do not want to get rid of that pan. We're going to keep that pan. Once we add our beef broth, we're gonna add it to that pan to make sure that we get those drippings out of there. So sit that aside because we need it. We're going for maximum flavor. If you're enjoying what you got so far, if you're learning something, if you're vibing with us, if you're liking what you see, 
go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so that you do not miss a drop. <laughs> Baby, we dropping heat every single week, twice a week, three times a week, you name it. We got long form content, we got shorts. Come on in with us and if you really, really, really vibing with us, uh, join our membership where you get behind the scenes access, exclusive, exclusive insight to who is Donovan and Stacy and what is cooking with the Catrins. Okay, so we have our goat meat in here. We're gonna let this sit for just a bit. Um, I call it sweating the meat. So again, we're just gonna loosely sit the top on and we'll be back to check on it. Not closing it off, just sitting it on there. Be back in about two minutes to check on it, guys. It's been about a minute or so. I had that lid on and I uh, peeked in just to check on it and it was starting to scorch a little bit on the bottom. Not necessarily scorched, but it was sticking on the bottom. And uh, pro tip on that fam, in the event that that happens to you, if you do see it starting to stick down there, W sauce, Worcestershire Sire sauce, AKA W sauce, um, is a godsend. If you ever have any stickage, you uh, pull this baby out, secret weapon, uh, get a couple dashes down in there, um, get a flat spoon, and you begin to scrape. You scrape that up and it comes up really, really easily for you. Pro tip. Pro tip, fam. Hey, that's cheat code. Cheat code. Because if that, um, if it is really thick and caked on down there, when you go to cook in your Instant Pot, uh, it's more likely to error out on you. And we don't want it to error out. We want it to cook fully through the first time. Pro tip. All right. I'm not going to over talk it. Let's move on. We're going to get into uh, the next steps. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip into the liquid because this is not making the liquid as fast as I'd like because the saute function is really, really hot. So I'm gonna switch into our beef broth. We're gonna use one cup of beef broth and I'm gonna just put that into our pan that we use to marinate. I'm just gonna switch that around just a bit, try and get some of that up before we add that to the party. All right, next up, going in with a cup of bell pepper and onion blend. This is, uh, you have guys seen us, if you watch our channel, you've seen us use this quite a bit. Um, this is a great value brand, and that is, um, I think it's the pepper blend. It has uh, green bell pepper, uh, red bell pepper, and yellow onion. So everything that we need for this recipe, we got about a cup of yellow potato, Let's go in for some more. It's gonna be our second cup of yellow potato. I'll throw in a couple more for good measure. We are already stewing and brewing just a bit. All right, sounding good. Get that mixed in. We're gonna put a couple thyme sprigs in there. And also a couple uh, scotch bonnets. I'm gonna break that open so we can get a little bit of heat. Miss Stacy and I, we like it hot. Uh, so two for a good measure. As well as a can of butter beans. Butter beans are completely optional. Completely optional, fam. All right, now we're done. Pressure cook, high pressure, 30 minutes. All right, fam, it's been about 30 minutes and we did do a quick release on that pressure. All right, and this is what we have. Last up, we're gonna add in some coconut milk to this mixture. And this uh, coconut milk is totally optional, but it's definitely cheat code for just adding additional flavor. So we are not only super easy, super simple, but you know we love that big bowl flavor. You can see the butter beans, the everything. So we're gonna cover this up for just a bit um, to let that coconut milk have a chance to uh, incorporate into this sauce mixture. Then we'll be right back at you to play, fam. Peace. 
big, thick chunks of meat. Let's go, baby. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, hot. Got a nice amount of spice to it. Now those cook perfectly though. Mm. Whew, Lord. Good flavor, y'all. Man, you gotta try this one. And if you hadn't hit that subscribe button yet, what are you waiting on, fam? Thank you so much for coming through, watching our content. We have so much more heat coming. So lock in with us, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you know every time we drop a video. And if you love curry, you like this recipe, go check out our chicken curry, Jamaican style, right here on this next video. See you there.